Hi everybody, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Let me move my microphone. There we go. You can hear me. Um, right, I said I pop back on. Um, I was supposed to do another video as well, but that's going to be in the morning because I've, I've got to go out in a bit. So apologies for that, but I, I really have to go out <coughs> um, soon. So, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have got where where am I um I've got 2,253 four uh, subscribers so thank you so much I really really appreciate it now I've been through all my subscribers and the one that sort of popped out at me um mainly because they had the cutest picture of a guinea pig <laughs> no, I, and I, I sort of felt drawn to them um Chris H and you've got a little white guinea pig with a black eye and a brown eye um, as your picture. Um, so Chris H, if you could drop me a uh, an email please to info at huskylight.com um, after you've gone and had a look at the website, chosen what reading you want, um, if there's any particular question you want to ask and congratulations. And that's really good. I'm sorry to everybody else. Um, but please go and click on the link and, and book a reading. So, I wanted to go through the comments because I haven't had a chance for a few days um, and there's a couple of them that I need to go through. Um, and I've just realised my camera is at the moment sat on top of my angel cards. So I can't show you the box, I will do. So, um, Sharon Bowman on my daily oracle cards for today love hearing your readings and guidance have a good day thank you love your dogs and your reading i so needed this to calm down a little nervous as i'm looking for a new job laurie jackson laurie i really hope you got the job let me know how it goes um that's really good now susie witches you said you said thank you this was so relevant today again about my my daily angel cards for today I love that genie wriggle <laughs> now if you were talking about the little dog that was in the background giving it all that that's not genie genie is um she's not even behind me now typical typical genie is my um tan and white colored um husky that little thing that you saw in the back was a little jackapoo that was a, a rescue dog from a couple of years ago about three years ago now actually getting on four um and she's let me put my camera back on for a second so I can see what I'm doing. Mm, that way. She is just, you can just see her fast asleep on top of um, that cushion there. So she sat, she sat there. So uh, that's Jeannie. Um, sorry, that's Gizzy, Gizzy Goo, aka Gypsy. Um, and the big black and white one, uh, that's Bandit. And I think even he got his face on camera this morning I think they all managed to get a little bit in there so right I've had um, a couple of you ask about the angel decks that I'm using um, Sally Ann Webb hiya thank you Husky Light your dogs are beautiful by the way is the third deck by Kyle Gray I'd, I would also love to know what the others are too um, and also Sheila Saunders Smith. I did try to answer you, Sheila, but for some reason there was no reply button on your your comments, so I couldn't. I sort of wrote above it. What's the name of the third deck um, that you used? So if you just bear with me a minute, because I'm gonna have to move the camera for a second. Blur. I'm going lower. <laughs> Put me up there again. Ah, that's all right. That's still okay. Right, the third deck that I used um, is this one. It's the Kyle Gray Angel Prayers Oracle Cards. And if I open these up and show you, it's got a little. It's got the little booklet with it there. And the, uh, this is my favourite deck actually because the pictures are just gorgeous. Um, they've got all the major uh, Archangel Haniel, 
Archangel Chamuel. Um, Archangel Uriel. They've got some absolute, they're fantastically bright and colourful. Um, that one's upside down. That's my favourite. Archangel Orion, I think we had him the other day. Yeah, they've got some amazing pictures on them. That, that it's, I love this. I think it's the first one I bought actually when I started doing YouTube. Um, and it's still my favourite one. I only have three decks, but I will get more. I've seen other readers that do angel card read and they've got stacks and stacks of boxes of angel cards. They've been saving them for, for years. Um, the other one that I use is Spirit Messages Daily Guidance Oracle Deck by John Holland, which is this one. I'll show you the pictures in here. Very pretty on the back. Um, and there's the card that came out this morning. Listen. Um, so as you can see, they've got some really pretty not had that one before <laughs> some really pretty uh, cards in there okay so that is that one and the third one that I've just bought my new one is the um, Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue so again a little booklet with this that is the front of the box now I get these from Amazon I don't get them anywhere fancy um, they come straight from Amazon I think that's it because they've got such a, a, an array of them I don't know why I'm shuffling them I'm not drawing any out automatic <laughs> the back of them is very pretty um, and then here's the, the front as you can see that some of these are so pretty and seeing as it's, it's a brand new jack deck as well so a lot of these cards I've not pulled out yet in the in the readings in the morning um, so there's certainly quite a lot um, to look at there what was that green one that was pretty what's that one? Oh, answered prayer so they are very pretty and very beautiful so those are the um, cards that I use so thank you for asking that I hope that helps um, <clears throat> Kathy Kane yeah you asked me uh, my daily oracle cards the other day um, is the name of the divine father Shiva or Shiva or something other than <laughs> have a beautiful day yeah um, I pulled out um, from my angel prayer from my angel prayer I pulled out Shiva um, and he is if you go back and look he's the Hindu god of strength and power so he was a really good card to to pull out right so that's the deck sorted out um, June 300 C on my heart chakra video that I did the other day. Um, I've been going through this since late last year and it's really painful. <clears throat> the traumas and other painful events will flood up. Um, I'm not gonna go through saying all of it. Um, find yourself a quiet place to go or go into your car and let it out. You'll feel lighter, but again, comfort and nurture yourself after that <clears throat> and give the love to the areas that hurt. Thank you. It's that is so true. Really, really true. When my heart chakra was opening, but mine opened all at once, as we know, it was very traumatic. Um, I remember several times going sitting in my car, driving three o'clock in the morning, going sitting in the middle of nowhere and screaming my head off in the car, just screaming, and because nobody could hear me, I was in the middle of nowhere. But it was that painful. It was it was like um, you know how we seem to grieve a lot differently than a, a lot of other countries. Um, India, places like that, Mexico, I think as well. 
they openly grieve and they will wail and scream and openly sort of really really wail and cry whereas we're quite we a bit refined and we try not to do that now if i'd have been in india or my, it would have been perfectly all right for me just to go ah and scream my head off um with the amount of pain that i was going through but it's just not appropriate in england um i think they may well have locked me up that night and several other nights as well um so i did i went and sat in the middle of nowhere in a car and just screamed and screamed until i couldn't scream anymore till i felt that it till i was so exhausted from crying and screaming it, it calmed down a little bit but that's how intense it can be so thank you for that uh june 300c it is it's you have to get yourself somewhere safe sometimes to release it to protect not only to protect yourself but maybe to protect others as well you're probably not going to go and beat them up or anything but some of the pain and some of the stuff that you actually go through you can actually get to a point where you you don't know what you're doing anymore you really don't know what you're doing so you're just safer to get in the car and drive to a nice quiet place in the middle of the moor somewhere <laughs> um and sort it out that way uh cindy greg love your readings thank you cindy um <clears throat> what else have we got here so so many that i've not even go through i had quite a few um on my aquarius july mid reading <laughs> agreeing with me because i think i said that white goods would break down um and i had quite a few actually sort of saying yep um christine kirsten wildman my garbage disposal was just replaced and now it's leaking again under the sink near my dishwasher um, and there was another couple somebody's uh, washing machine had just broken down and something else now my toilet's leaking for the second time in six weeks so I'm wondering what spiritually that means at the moment I think if you look at Feng Shui um, or the spiritual meaning of leaking pipes and it's a release of it's a release of emotion I release it because it's water that's coming out so it's a release of um, emotion so it's either I've had a lot of emotion to release um, and it's all good now or there's still some <coughs> to come out I feel absolutely fine so it might be that it actually is somebody else it might be one of my, my son or my daughter that it's having an effect on um, I need to look into it a little bit more but they did mention feng shui wise to um make sure there's some wood near the toilet to earth it to ground it um so i've just gone and bought a little wooden boat um and put that on the shelf at the back so hopefully that will fix it but that's twice now in about six weeks first it was overflowing you know the cistern at the top and then it's the the little pipe underneath is now leaking and it's a pretty new toilet it was only only fitted about two three years ago so i don't know but i'm working on it anyway um because i know that if water flows out too fast it is um a loss of finances or a loss of money that's why you always put your toilet seat down after you flushed it boys um to keep the wealth in a little feng shui tip there <coughs> marigold tarot hiya <laughs> um she said great reading i really resonated with the reading it is really good to keep a dream journal um and that was my daily oracle cards i can't see what day it was for it was last week um but i did we had one of the cards was dreams um and she says that i feel that i dream more vivid dreams around the full moon that's that's because the full moon is so strong and we're about oh god knows 90 percent water um full moons control the tides they control the flow they control everything and it's when it's in full moon mode it the energies are really strong and we can have very uh vivid dreams at that time it just has um a much stronger effect on us than normal um and she said that she's currently in the uk because her husband is British so um, yeah <laughs> that's brilliant I hope you're having a really good time over here 
um, and thank you for subscribing. Um, Lytel, glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Yeah, I am. I'm fine now. Absolutely. Um, I had a, I had a comment from Mal Leave, um, saying about guidance is needed during Greece's crisis. The banks are closed. Um, pray we get peace after voting. Global home, global wholeness is my game. Um, yeah, I, I said to you at the time, just, <laughs> I am praying for all of Greece. I am hoping, um, that we can get some positivity going and the collective consciousness can help alleviate the situation over there at the moment. If you've not heard about it and without getting too political about it, cause I'm no good at politics, um, Greece are in debt an awful lot and they cannot pay back their debt. So what they've done is they've closed all the banks and they're only letting the public um, get to their own bank accounts and are only giving them a certain amount of money every day. Something like 67 euros or something. Is that right, Mal? Um, the problem is, I think if they don't sort it out, if it doesn't improve, it is just the sort of thing that could spread to other countries as well who are in debt, uh, who are having a problem paying their debts back. So I hope that it gets better. I hope it gets sorted out in, in one way or the other. I really do. Uh, so we all need to stay positive about that because we don't want it going uh, throughout and spreading to other countries and giving other organisations and governments um, that sort of idea. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll do that too. No, <laughs> really no. So... Um, Vela Girl one. Um, wow, I had written a, pre a previous note less than halfway through the video, and you mentioned especially the shoulder is at risk. I mean, not cool how ba how badly I seem to have hurt my shoulder, but it seems to get better. But if then if I do anything strenuous, it goes crazy. Again, that was on the Aquarius Aquarius July because I did say be careful um, of shoulder or arm neck injuries this month so there, there has been loads and loads of um comments and everything else and thank you really a lot thank you so much i love getting them um it, it is really good um i love reading uh, about your stories i love reading your comments um we've got a really nice group going here we really have so um so back to the reading, Chris H, if you can get in touch with me. Um, I don't think I've got any, I think I'm pretty much up to date with, with all the messages. Thank you to everybody. If I've not mentioned you, somebody who has, has messaged in, I will always try and reply. I will always try and at least put a little thumbs up or something. Um, if I haven't got time to reply properly, but I usually do. Somebody as well, and I can't find it. Um, I did the talk I did with um, Christopher Byrne somebody asked about tapping and whether uh, we could do tapping where is it do tappings help with blockages yes they do and that was Carrie Martin it was a couple of weeks ago she asked if tappings help with blockages that was on the um, upper chakra um, awakenings that I did with Christopher Byrne. Tapping does help, and once I've got through doing catching up and doing my other videos that I want to do, I will do a video about tapping um, and show you the techniques, how it works, um, and the benefits of doing that as well. But yes, it can help. It can, it can, it can. So. A lot of the other ones I'm not going to sort of read out um, <laughs> live to everybody. Uh, they're a little bit more personal, so I'll keep those. They are on they are on my website and they are there, but I'd rather not sort of read them out. So that is everything. Um, again, thank you so so much for if you like, share, your your subscribes, everything. I love you loads. Um, I am going to do that video, but I do have to. Um, I have to get out. 
um, so it will get done. I said I'd get it all done in the next couple of days anyway. So in the meantime, namaste, I love you. And I will speak to you soon. And I will definitely be here in the morning for uh, your angel cards. Okay, namaste. Bye.